Hello folks, uh, welcome to another video tutorial by uh, WPBasics.org, I'm Jose and today what we're going to do is we're going to take this Altitude Pro theme by Studio Press and I've always liked this theme, uh, the only thing I've always wanted to do was to add a video background to it so we're going to do just that today. So it's going to go from this, this is the demo site that we're looking at, this is the Studio Press demo site and we're going to take it from this and it's going to look something like this. It, uh, I mean, this I feel this uh, video in the background adds a nice drama to it. It uh, really catches your attention, I feel, and it, it can, it, depending on your use, it can be um, maybe it's the thing for you. But in any case, just showing it to you is not very useful. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into the background, take out all the code, and then we're going to start from scratch. And I'll show you how to do this for your own theme. So here we go. And so I've gone ahead and I've uh, ripped out all the code. So now you, what you see here is the default, um, just like in the demo, the default uh, first section of the page. And this is where we're going to add the video background. So the first step that we want to do is um, go to our dashboard. So let's go to our dashboard and then we click on plugins. And what we want to do is install this plugin called Video Background by Blake Wilson. I've already have it installed, but if you don't, just go ahead and find this plugin, download it, and install it and activate it, and then we'll we'll take it from there. So once you've uh, activated the the theme video background, the data, what we need to do now is upload the videos that we want as a background to our media library. So just go ahead to your media library, upload it. Uh, I have it here my video already. It's mine is called Storm mp4 and uh, for this purpose I'm just gonna do it in mp4 purpose pardon, pardon me format but uh, if you were doing this for a live site you would want to do it in two formats mp4 and WEVM format that way uh, devices that don't play mp4 will um, will have a fallback video format uh, you might also want to upload a still image uh, uh, to be used for mobile devices so you would upload all that to your um, media library so once you've done that uh, I do want you to go back to your plugins uh, page go to your where it says uh, video background and click on this word it, where it says getting started now you will see here a, uh, a short code we need to copy that short code so just go ahead and copy it and then using your te favorite text editor go into it and then um, go to the um, front page.php um, page and then that short code that we copied paste it right here so you will see a bunch of things that is already there by default on the theme but the genesis uh, widget areas you'll see front page uh, dash seven so we're going to uh, paste it right under this so you'll see a double um, brackets with a closing semicolon paste it right under there like so so what we want to do um, is uh, actually let me take that out for just one second. One second. We're gonna be echoing out the short code, so actually I have to echo it out first. So type this: echo, then space, then do underscore short code. Okay, short code. Uh, then uh, open close brackets. Put some uh, quotations and place the short code within there. Actually, hold on, I'm gonna close it here. I always forget those. And paste the short code there. So there we go. So now this is, uh, let me just fix this here. Okay. Okay, I'm just checking the code, make sure it's right. Yeah, we got it, good. So this is the default short code. Uh, now, if you left it like this, it wouldn't really work because there's just a placeholder here for your MP4 file, for your WebM file, and also for your poster, which is the a still image of your um, of your video. So what we need to do is we need to replace these placeholders. Okay. So what we need to do at this point is go back to your dashboard, go to your media library, and in this case, let's say for example, I have the video storm.mp4. Click on it. And here you will see the URL. Go ahead and copy that URL. Okay. Hi, 
highlight this pound sign don't delete anything else except that highlight that pound sign and paste the the video file there now you would do the same for the web.m file and also the poster uh, file uh, I'm not gonna do that for this video I'm just gonna show you how to do it quickly for this it's the same idea if you wanted to add different formats so you would go ahead and do that and then we would save it okay so now if we go to our uh, our site let's close this we, we it was looking like this let's refresh it let's refresh it it's not working for some reason let's figure out why okay so I see what I did see here we have to specify which container we want to use and we could find out which container we want just by going to here and then we would just click on inspect now we want to find the container that holds this whole thing so here's the main content and then here you see um, front page dash page dash one so this is what we're looking for we're looking for that container so let's just copy that go back to our text editor and where it says here body because right now by default it puts it to the body but we don't want the body we just want it to be in the first section so let's replace that and we want it to be the ID because this little dot symbolizes class I copied the wrong one so let's just replace that with a pound sign which uh, symbolizes the ID so let's save that now and if we go back to our page and now refresh it we have our video see and uh, the only problem with this one right now is see if we were to go like this for example um, to a smaller device for example let's put it let me let me oh, let me remove the CSS so you can see here in the background you still see the image uh, that original image so first thing we want is we want to get rid of that so let's do that so we go to our um, let me show you from the beginning we go to our appearance customize we don't want to show that image so we want to remove it okay save and publish now if we go here and refresh it we'll see so you see this gap here I mean if you're okay with that like this then leave it like that but I want my video to actually fill up the whole space so that's actually quite easy all we have to do is go to our uh, text editor to our style.css file and we're gonna copy uh, a little bit of a uh, one small little thing so at the bottom of your uh, style sheet just paste this code this basically tells it that the, there is no max width so it's not gonna be limited so it'll resize so type this code and don't worry about trying to type it all now just worry about understanding it I'm gonna paste all this code on my uh, website wpbasics.org so let's save this if now if we go here you will see now that it resizes you see that now if we go back sideways it resizes if we go to full size it resizes it's it's totally um, it'll adjust now automatically and we can see here it's been replaced yeah now we have a video background the only other thing I would do here is it's a little dark because the altitude pro theme comes with um, um, what's it called uh, a little shading in the back for lack of better words so what we want to do is we want to comment out a line so we go to line 1250 and you see all this image section for the a gradient is what it's called there, there's gradients here highlight those comment them out okay save it and then you'll see now that the gradient is gone and you get to see your video as it is I mean if you if you like it dark just leave it but I happen to not want it that way so just take out the gradient and you'll have it like this so that's it for this tutorial I hope you liked it don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions shoot me a comment below thanks and have a good day bye bye